Eighth grade illustrative mathematics, unit six, lesson nine, looking for associations. Problem number one. A scientist wants to know if the color of water affects how much animals drink. The average amount of water each animal drinks was recorded in milliliters for a week and then graphed. Is there evidence to suggest an association between water color and animal? No. The relative frequencies of the animals drinking each color of water are about the same, so there is no evidence of association. Problem number two. A farmer brings his produce to the farmer's market and records whether people buy lettuce, apples, both, or something else. Make a table that shows the relative frequencies for each row. Use this table to decide if there's an association between buying lettuce and buying apples. First, let's figure out how many people bought lettuce. 14 people bought lettuce and bought apples, and 58 people bought lettuce and didn't buy apples. That's a total of 72 people who bought lettuce. Now let's find the number of people who did not buy lettuce. Eight people did not buy lettuce but bought apples, and 29 people did not buy lettuce and did not buy apples. That's a total of 37 people who did not buy lettuce. 14 out of 72 people bought apples and bought lettuce. That's 19% of the people. 58 out of 72 people did not buy apples but did buy lettuce. That's 81% of the people. 8 out of 37 people did not buy lettuce but they bought apples. That's 22% of the people and 78% of the people did not buy apples or lettuce. The percentages in each column are close, so there's not enough evidence to suggest an association between buying apples and lettuce. Problem number three. Researchers at a media company want to study news reading habits among different age groups. They tracked print and online subscription data and made a two-way table. A. Create a segmented bar graph using one bar for each row of the table. These segmented bar graphs represent the percentage of media for each age group. The yellow section represents internet media and the red stripe section represents print media. B. Is there an association between the age groups and the method they use to read articles? Explain your reasoning. Yes, there is an association because the segments of the bars are not very close to being the same size. Younger age groups use internet articles much more than print articles. Older age groups use much more print articles than internet articles. Problem number four from 8th grade unit 6 lesson 6. Using the data in the scatter plot, what is a reasonable slope of a model that fits this data? We can find a reasonable slope for this data by drawing a straight line evenly through the middle of the points on the scatter plot. This line almost goes through the intersection of 12 and 1980. So I'm going to put a little point right there on the line. And this line also almost goes through the intersection of 16 and 1990. So I can put a point right there too. Remember, to find the slope of a line, you use the rise over the run. And in this case, the rise goes from 1980 to 1990, so the rise is plus 10. And the run goes from 12 to 16, which is plus 4. So the rise is 10, and the run is 4. The slope is 10 over 4. Since 10 divided by 4 is 2.5, then we can say that the slope of this line is approximately 2.5. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. And you can watch the next lesson. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.